Hey everyone, uh, today I am troubleshooting uh, some issues here in Azure um, and basically what it has to do with is that I don't have the required number of cores on my Azure account to be able to uh, create some of these big VMs that I'm creating here. Uh, another uh, problem where you can run into this is if you are using Zerto to fail over uh, a bunch of your VMs from say your VMware or Hyper-V environment into Azure uh, even if you're just doing a test failover uh, you can run into this issue where essentially you're only allowed to use maybe 10 cores which is the default but you're trying to spin up you know five VMs that have four cores each uh, which you know is gonna require more than 10 uh, so basically what we need to do is we need to come into our Azure uh, portal and we need to request access to more cores. Uh, to do that, we're gonna come all the way down on the list over here uh, to the little help and support guy. Uh, it's a little blue icon with a headset. Click on that. And uh, then what we wanna do is we wanna open a new support request. Uh, once we're in there, we have to choose a type. This is not a technical issue. So while it may seem like a technical issue, it is not, it is actually a quota issue. Uh, so pick on quota. Uh, you'll see your your subscription and then we need to pick quota type and select cores uh, because that's really what this is all about is it's a it's a core count issue uh, it should say quota support included in your support plan hit next uh, and then what we need to do is uh, change this uh, deployment model to uh, resource manager or arm is what uh, the Azure folks call it uh, a location so you have to submit a request for every region that you want to have access to more cores in. Uh, so I'm actually working in the uh, West US 2 region right now. Uh, so, and I want access to some more of the uh, EV3 and DV3 series. So we'll basically change this now from 10 to let's just call it um, you know 64 actually I, the, the VM I want to create is 64 so let's call it 75 or you know what better yet let's just do 100 so we'll do 100 on each of those uh, and then we'll go ahead and hit next and you get a whole bunch of uh, stuff here um, who else should we email that's all right there and we'll hit create um, so basically we should be able to see our support request being created um, once it is created this little box over here will pop up and say new support request created and uh, you should then be able to see it if you click on all support requests uh, we've actually got quite a few in here for core quotas but uh, here's the one that I just uh, that I just did um, so it's, it's an eight-hour request. It's probably not going to happen anymore today because it's almost 3 o'clock my time. Um, but essentially, they will up it for you, uh, and then they'll send you an email and whatnot. If they have any questions, they'll email you or call you or whatever. Um, and, uh, and then eventually, you will, uh, you'll be able to go in and create your new VM.